Um, I like Callista, but we haven't done this kind of thing yet. We haven't done a Ionia deck yet. When an ally gets barrier, grant me plus two plus zero. That's permanent. Reduce the cost of most expensive unit in your hand by one. Callista is really good though, but she dies really, really quickly. Let's go with, let's try Ionia. Full Ionia? Oh, Ionia, uh, Shen Fiora is another good combo. Yasuo is good though. Well, depends on your deck. Sure, we'll go with Fiora. We're going with the classic Shen Fiora. I like the fact of getting lifesteal. You can sort of get your stuff back. You can sort of get health back. Plus, challenger is always good. I'll go with this one. Ghost. Gives an ally elusive this round? Meh. This is really good. You sorry. Challenger elusive. Interesting. Ephemeral. Garbage. To play me, recall an ally. That's really good. Because any sort of battlefield, enter the battlefield's effects are really, really good with them. Give an ally elusive. Pretty good. We can put that on Shen and then have Shen block. Alright, let's do that one. War chefs. Give my supported ally plus one, plus one. This one. Nah. Grant all allies plus one, plus one. That's not the best. And neither is this, because we don't have that many elites. We're not really going in elites matter deck. We're just going to go with this one. So the, the reason this card is so good, Navari Conscriptor, one, it's a th two mana, three, two elusive, so it can just attack for three every time. But you can also double up on your battle with the other decks. For example, turn one, you play Inspiring Mentor. You give this one plus one, plus one. Turn two, you play Navori Conscriptor. Bounce the Inspiring Mentor. So now you have a four, three on the field for two mana, and you can play this again and give something else plus one, plus one. Pretty good card. So now we want to try and look for battlefield effects if we can. Deathmock. Remove ephemeral from an ally to grant it to an enemy. I think that's too specific. And we don't have an ephemeral. Create a six mana spell. Long on duelist. I mean, these aren't the best. But it sure is better than everything else. This relies on Noxus. We don't have Noxus cards. This we don't have ephemeral. And this card is just awful. But yeah. Rush. Give an ally plus one plus zero on quick attack. Kinku life play is also really good. Elusive life steal. Makes it very hard to, to um race you. Create an exact copy of a card in hand. We can create another Fiora. We can create another I don't know, Shen, Swiftling Lancer. This is decent. This is really good with Fiora, but this I think is just better overall. The Kinku Life Blade is just an amazing card in Arena. Grant a barrier to an ally in hand, draw one, and detain. So we have some removal and detain and key guardian. This lasts until we play it. So this is really good. I want this one. Grant an ally back barrier and life steal this round. Not bad. Steel Tempest, eh. Back to back, grant two allies, plus three, plus three this round. When I'm summoned, draw a unit if an ally died this round. I like these two. What are we looking for? What are we looking like on minions? Not bad. So I don't think we need this one quite yet. Spirit's Refuge, meh. The back to back are, are, achieves that same goal. I like it. This one gives us card draw. Senna's useless without Lucian. Well, she's not useless. She's not a bad card, but it could be better. You have an exactly one ally. Grant a plus three, plus three. Meh. Grant an ally tough. Meh. Inspiring mentor. Good. Grant Barry to an ally in hand. Draw one. So this is just a two mana draw one. Give something. Can't be damaged. I like that, but I really don't like having two Senna's. 
Will of Ionia could be good. Let's do that. This is a really good turn one play. Ren Shadowblade. When the enemy summons a follower, granted ephemeral. That's really good. Let's do it. We don't have a sort of late game card yet. Kithria okay, is not bad, but we already have way too many one drops. I like the five mana five five. When I'm summoned, create a four Demacia on hand. That's good. Attack on me plus two plus two. Also good. River Shaper, draw spell. Wouldn't be bad. I like this one though. Four Demacia is a really good sort of late game card. Deny is amazing. Repost, give an ally plus three plus and barrier. I'm doing it. Give an ally plus one plus one and the Vanguard Cavalry. Very good pack right there. Summon two one cost allies from your deck. Well, we don't, we don't really have too much enough to really get this too much. But the Shadow Assassin is good. These are all really good. Because this one we can bounce. Plus it's card draw, 2-2. Two, two. Granto allies in hand, plus one, plus one. Also really good. Radiant Strike, not bad. 5-5. Five, five. Let's go with the whole elusive in it, elusive deck. The Kinku Wayfinders aren't, we don't expect them to hit too often, but when they do, it could get us some, well, one drop's not even that great. Let's do with these two for now. All right, now I get to check, change something. Yone Wild Chaser. Herald of Spring. We already have a good amount of lifesteal, I think. We want another Swiftling Lancer. What does that look like? Yeah, let's go for it. This is a really low-to-the-ground deck that attempts to go underneath the enemy's defenses with Elusive, but it also has the Shen Fiora combo as well. Let's give it a shot. Against Demacia, this could be a little annoying because Demacia units are just very efficient. Ooh, not the best so far. Could be good. Meh. So you actually cannot play this guy unless you have an ally on the battlefield. So we're going to have to play this one, turn two, and then play him, turn three. Now we get her. Smell that? A bite to cook it. I am one with the land. When an ally gets barrier, we're going to grant barrier. Do you think this works? Do we think this works? It does not. I don't like that. Not gonna lie. Okay. All right. I'm a little upset about that, but oh well. We're not really going to get much end of the battlefield value by bouncing this, but we just want to start applying pressure, and we can any sort of damage we take can be offset by the Kinku Life Blade, since it does have life steal. Oh, we're going to be taking five damage next turn. Well, like we said, we can heal a good bit with the Kinku Life Blade. Or we can play these two. Well, the Kinku Life Blade can block. The 
Hands are down. We play Zinhan. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and play this one. So he can just block him, and we gonna make this a four cost or this a four cost? Hopefully this one. We're taking a good bit of damage, but. Okay, decrease this one. All right, Kinku Lifeblade, you're up next. They cannot strike what they cannot see. You kind of sounded like a a higher pitched Geralt. A little bit. So we can use back to back next turn to sort of give our Kinku Lifeblade a really big boost. And just really increases life steal. Go. Is mine. Doing dealing five damage is down to twelve or up to fourteen. We probably want an extra blocker. Since we don't carry over four mana, we only carry over one. So might as well do this. We can also use Rapace to give our Kinku Life Blade barrier, and she's gonna be at three. So this is actually a give a plus five plus zero in barrier. Good. So we have a combo here. If someone died this round, we can play her. Let me play him, play her again. Honor guide me. I was gonna say that's it. Head to the face. All right, so how do we want to do this? Feel the sizzle. Okay. So we have nine minutes, we can play both of these. So this is going to go to three. This blocks, I guess, him. Stay back. I said this goes here. Let's block the two, three. It's a little bit better. And this is good just to decrease this to a three. Let's do it. Yeah, it's okay. If he tries to do something funny, we have deny. If he doesn't do something funny, we can play our Vanguard Redeemer and draw a card. Okay, well we can't... We can't do a burst, unfortunately. So we're taking six. I don't know why he didn't plus three, plus three this one. But, whatever. We will draw a card. Today we turn the tide of war. Ooh. Is that game? Plus three plus three. So this would be a nine. No, a six. Five. So eleven. Close. This costs six mana. be at seven we need ten seven nine we can we can play it yeah we'll wait actually we should have just played this and then we can play this we can still do that though We can't deny anything now, though. Hopefully he spends all 10 of his mana somehow. It's fine. Walk softly, strike quickly. Why can't I play this? Okay. Oh well, whatever. Discipline and steal! I still don't understand exactly how the uh... 
everything. When you can cast spells and everything. Like, I thought I would see how he blocks, and then I could cast this since it's a burst, but I guess. Shall prevail. Okay. Just to prevent any funny business, we're going to go ahead and play this. He can attack now, but he's attacking into a very big board. Very big. Stand strong. I think you're supposed to use that offensively, but we have this card. It achieves the same goal. I'm actually here. Right. You're just letting us. All right. Good game. Or anything he could detain us so he could detain one of these cards meaning capture it but he still takes damage good game good first game went pretty well all righty what do we get to trade out we can get a second fiora yeah, also is not really helping us here. We haven't stunned or anything. Usari, Challenger, Single Combat, Laurent, Protégé. I like the Fiora. Just because the Single Combat is pretty good. The Shen doesn't really matter too much. Alright, let's go. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. What is this? Same deck as us? No. There is a much more offensive deck. This is the one two turn one two combo we were talking about. Turn one inspiring mentor, turn two Navori Conscriptor, attack. One, two, three, four. Nice. You'll soon understand my method. One hundred percent that's a Zed. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. If he attacks, we don't block because we need to be, be able to play this. There's always a way out. I wonder if he just has the exact same thing as us. Or some kind of elusive guy. Just the exact same opening. If he didn't buff his, he can still take out our guy because it's a three-two naturally. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. <laughs> Go ahead and attack. This is gonna be a really back and forth fight. I feel. Aha, I was Zed. I was right. Uh, um. We need Zed not to level up. This is an, this is an odd. An odd turn. Soon understand my method. See? For two. We go as one. How did that move go? 
So here's the question. Do we summon the Kinku Life Blade? Sort of gain more HP. Yeah, probably. Or Senna. Oh, Challenger. Can take him out. He's almost guaranteed to have something. But if nothing else, we can hold these two back to block the 4-2. Or the two 4-2s. Hopefully he plays all of his mana here. Wouldn't be very smart, but hopefully he does. Time for a leap of faith. Okay, we can still kill that too. I'll show you how it's done. Good. And he's still alive. Zed reverts back to a 3-2, so I really liked that draw. Very good draw there. We're going to start playing our Kinku Life Blades when we get a good chance to. Because we do need to start getting our health total back up. He has another one. All right. So it's going to be tough to uh, kill the Zed now. We can use this back-to-back -back here to really sort of blow him out. It would have to be on this guy and then this one because we want our 2-1 to stay alive. I wanted to use this with the two Kinku Life Blades, but uh... And is this burst? It's burst, so we can't deny it. We have six mana. If we had a one mana card, we'd play it, but we just have to save mana for the back to back now. The Yordle here is with me. Good, this is good. He's using all of his mana. We're gonna take you know Let's move. We're gonna take seven damage. But that's kind of okay. <laughs> Don't want any trouble. This isn't part of the training. We don't even need to use back to back. It's only if we want our four two to live. And he's just going to die to the three ones anyways. But we kind of wanted to use it to do these two. Okay, that makes sense. So this makes both of our creatures live. Ow. Ow. This is starting to hurt. We can pull in this guy with the challenger to sort of help protect the four one. How greedy are we going to get? We can go 3-3. Three, three, or we can just play the 3-4. Let's just play the 3-4. We don't need to be... We don't need to try and get too much. We really need to start... We really need to start healing back up again. If he plays a creature... Oh my god, how many did he get? We're going to pull this in so this one lives. He can block these, but this one should live. Doesn't matter if this guy dies. Hold up. Where are you going? If he has a buff for this, that really blows. <laughs> oh god. Hang on, sir. So they're gonna be two twos. If he summons anything, it's a three three. Playing this does nothing. He has to play a unit, and if it's not elusive, this can block it. Take the high ground. I was thinking about saving it for some sort of mana or some sort of spell. Let's see what we draw. Yeah, that wouldn't have mattered anyways. He has to play a unit. In order to get lethal. My training is 
Now we have to play this and throw it away. We can play this next turn and kill the other one, and then it's just down to whoever has um, more elusives. We're still alive. Tales of our past are seeds for our future. They'll never see us coming. I sense fear. Think before you strike. Intruder, get him. I will teach you. If he has any sort of buff for this, okay, he has, he's out of mana. All right. Okay. This is getting intense. Or Demacia, that's good. We can play all three of these. We're playing this. If he plays a unit, we're going to go ahead and just... Well, no, we need to play her too. We just want this guy to live. I'm what nightmares fear. It's fine, we have one too. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. We don't want to play this until after we attack, because if we do, he can just block the uh, the two two. Let's see if he's doing this again. Even if he has the plus three, plus three, this still wins. Same thing with this one. She has to block with this one. The five, four. If he has the plus three, plus three to two units. That means Santa dies. This dies too, actually. We have this to block one unit. But uh, we still lose. If he has the double plus three plus three. If he has two of them. That's fine. And you're just gonna take the five? That's fine. That is okay. When you summon an elite, reduce my cost by by one. Not very useful. Confine and contain. So this blocks Senna, this blocks the bird. If he plays a unit, we play this. And then if he plays two units, we play the, uh... Oh, we know. If he plays a unit, we play Shen. There's two of them. Interesting. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Purity and heat. Oh, here we go. Boop. Understood. Boop. Boop. This looks like a Noxus guy. He really does. He looks like looks like he looks um, related to Darius. Oh, he doesn't have any cards in hand? Oh, recall. That's fine. He actually doesn't have a card in hand, so if he play he can't play this right now. Good. Summon two copies of an ally there, ephemeral. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. We're gonna have twelve mana, so we can actually summon two six sixes. Oh. That could be good, that could be lethal. And we can give him quick attack. Let's do it, let's give it a shot. Or should we, can we, can we, can we get rid of that? Can we stop? How do we say no? Escape? Okay, so once you play it, you just have to sit here and look at it until you hit okay. So I was thinking we could just play this one first and then play for Demacia. I think this should still work, but just to be safe, we should have done it the other way. Oh well. This guy will live. That's for sure. We could have put it on Shen and had multiple Shens. 
And maybe we should have done that because then we'd have four barriers. Wow, I misplayed this so hard. I just wanted to put it on this guy because it's one extra damage. We can still put it on Shen. And then each Shen, they give three barriers. So no, the first Shen would uh, still. Wow, I played this so wrong. I hope they're seven sixes. They should be, by all accounts and purposes. By all card game logic, they should be. Okay, good. So we want to barrier the one that's actually not a feminine. How come it's still going? Kind of looks like a person kneeling. But okay. Go for it. Wait, how come we have four? D oh, because they came in. We have four Demacios. Alright, we get two more. When I'm summoned. Okay, interesting. So there's a difference between play and when I'm summoned. 14 damage coming your way. I love the graphics on Legends of Runeterra. That doesn't do anything. Unless you got another unit. Oh. Poor guy. Good game. It's still there. HP. Oh well, we would have lost the next turn. Oh, what? Yeah. All right. What is this? The second game? Third game. <sighs> He's just so much less consistent than, um, than, uh, the Heimerdinger deck. Well, we have the very late game combo. Very late game. Wow, our entire hand. We can't play anything until turn three. <laughs> uh. And we're blocking on even turns. They're out there. I'll spot them. All right. All right. We're gonna make this a 2-5 because we really needed to stick around for a while. We're not gonna attack with it. We are very much on the back foot here. Very much so. These woods protect their own. Good lord. I guess we could play Shen. We're probably gonna have to. We go where the War Mother be. And he got the Allegiance. I played it three times in my other deck and get the Allegiance once. Um, we play this. We can back to back, but we don't really need that. If I play Shen. He's at completely out of mana, so we can just block whichever's, whatever stuff. This space between worlds. We 
We're gonna have eight mana next turn. We can four, four. Okay. Or we can three, five. But I want to get this guy going. Just get him bigger so we can start blocking. If he's just blocking with that, we want to keep our Shen healthy. So we're just going to block with the two, five. Fine by me. This next unit's going to be big. This guy. Well, if it's a unit. Fiora. Would have been good, Fiora. We're putting this on Shen. We're get putting Shen's barrier on this guy. Where you go, I go. The only reason we're doing this is to make him a 4-4. Christ, twice in a row? Alright. I find them unworthy. Okay, I was gonna say. This does cost us cards, but he's getting bigger, which is what, what we want. So now he can block any of these effectively. Once we get to turn 9, we pretty much we're in a very good spot. Yeah, you think? God, we're taking seven. This is our home. We can play this. So we want him to be at five, so we can play this and pull him in. In order to do that, we need to sacrifice our 4-4. Four, four. Do we want to do that? Not really. I think we gotta. Do not test me. I failed. My time has come. Break their spirit and their soul. This is assuming he doesn't have a way to just block it. We don't even need to use this one. We could use this one so we can sort of surprise him, kind of thing. See if it goes through. That's a big boy. Yeah, huge. I don't like the look of that because he could use this to gain 10 health with his alpha water cloth at least. Good, we got it. One more barrier in our Shen's leveled up. In case anyone doesn't know what upgraded Shen does, when an ally gets barrier, give it plus three plus zero this round. So when we play this one. He's actually going to get plus 6 plus 0 because he has two barriers. He has barrier and then he gives himself barrier again. So very, very good card on the offense. They cannot strike what they cannot see. That's okay. You, he dies next turn when I pull him in anyways. So we want to go wide, meaning we want to be at 6 people. So we're going to play him next round. So we need to play two creatures this round. We'll probably play a challenger. We already have two challengers. We can pull one, two. Just to keep just to keep them off Shen, really. I'm through waiting. It's fine. Taking seven.
At most, we can play two units. Let's just do this just for safety's sake. Close my eyes, make it fair. Yeah, we're gonna have two challengers anyways to take out any sort of big opponents. Okay, we're at eight. I'm going on the offensive. I like it. Strength in grace, beauty in the blade. These old eyes still see far. This guy's dead. This one's dead. This one's dead. I mean, we can only kill two of them. So probably these two. The one with overwhelm needs to die. Here we go. Time for the big boys. Our wills align. Our wills align. I love that animation. It's just so Shen. Hi. I saw this in a constructed match. That's how I know it works. It's insane. That's where I wanted to play the two challengers too. Let's see what he's got. Massive AoE. You have a Yeti, summon an enraged Yeti. Otherwise, put it on top of your deck. So he's putting. So next turn, he's going to draw one mana 5 5. We can't look at that card. I'm pretty sure an enraged Yeti is just a one mana 5 5. So whichever one we put to the left of Shen gains three extra damage. Does that matter? Not really. I find worthy. Try me. Boom. Wait, why did they all just get plus three plus zero again? Oh, because we attacked again. Oh my lord. We are hitting hard. Plus 6, plus 0. Oh. God. And this one's plus 9, plus 0. Oh. We haven't won with Fiori yet, though, unfortunately. That's okay though. He does, I don't think he heals anything. It doesn't matter because he's at full, but I don't think he would heal anything because you don't actually deal damage to this. Give an ally barrier and life steal. That's a little problematic. We can just have her kill it anyways. Or we can have her kill this. Oh, that puts her at one. That probably wasn't a good idea. Should've done the 18-9. I just wanted to level up Fiora. What is this? Frostbite and enemy. Okay. Thankfully that goes through first. That's why I did it. Tink, barrier's gone. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and play this so we can clear out his board if he full attacks. Plus three, plus three. End round, okay. Why did she full? Oh, the, the four Demacia. Okay. Um, we're going to put the barrier. Okay, what well, doesn't matter to me? Put the barrier on, actually. They're all going to get plus 
3 plus 0. Yo. Just in case she, uh, we go through that nonsense of getting rid of her barrier again. Boom. This combination is ridiculous. No hiding for you, Kenku Lifeblade. I don't know why he didn't attack with the Lifeblade. I had no way to block it. He'd be at 16, I'd be at, uh, 6. He has to block both of these. Or... Yeah, any two units blocking. He has to you throw, throw both of these away. To survive this round. Guess one more chance. Level up. Oh, no. That's right. She never killed the other people because she was frostbitten. We are going to recall him. So if for some godforsaken reason we need to have barrier on top. On, on, okay. As I expected, that's cool. She has a... She has a voice line for if the opponent surrenders. That is cool. 